I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on sets. We'll define the word cardinal number or cardinality and then take up two questions based on union of sets. Cardinal number, the number of elements in a set is called cardinality or cardinal number. We'll take up one particular example and find number of elements for different kinds of sets. Basically, union of sets. We are given set A, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, set B, 1, 3, 5, 7, and set C is 0, 1, and 2. Now, cardinal number is normally written as N, and the name of the set, and A means number of elements in set A, which is 6 for us. Number of elements in set B will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And number of elements in set C is 3. Now based on this, we have two different questions where we will understand how to count the number of elements in union of sets. Right? Question number 1 is, what is the cardinality of A union B? Four choices are given to you. And question number 2 is, what is the cardinality of A union B union C? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let me illustrate what is A union B. So, we'll just make a Venn diagram representing A union B. Let's say this is A for us, and we have B. If you look at the elements, 1, 3, and 5 are common to both a and B. So they will be common, so we could write these numbers in their intersection. Now in set A, apart from 1, 2, uh, sorry, 1, 3, and 5, this should have been 5, okay, sorry for that. Okay, let this be set A and this be B. So apart from 1, 3, and 5, in set A, we have 2, 4, and 6 also. So I'll write 2, 4, and 6. So that makes all the 6 elements of A, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 6. As far as set B is concerned, 1, 3, and 5 have been already written. We are left with 7. Correct? So that is how you can show A union B with the help of a Venn diagram. Now you can count the elements. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 7. So the right choice is B, which is 7. You could also see from here that the number of elements in A is 6. In B, it is 4. 6 plus 4 is 10, but our answer is 7. Why is it so? So basically, you'll know that if we are counting the number of elements in union of two sets, then it is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B and take away number of elements in A intersection B. In this particular case, in A intersection B, there were three elements, correct? So we could also sometimes use the formula and do the needful. This is very important formula as sometimes you will be only given the numbers and not the elements, correct? Now, if you substitute these values, then we have 6 plus 4 minus 3, which is 10 minus 3 is 7. You get the correct answer, right? So that is how you could also do when we provide you with only the number of elements, but not the elements themselves. I hope that gives you a good link, right? So we'll have questions based on this concept later. The second one here is what is the cardinality of A union B union C? That means number of elements in the union of these three. So let's now draw the Venn diagram to represent the information, right? So we have now three sets. So let us sketch them uh, with three circles. So let us say these are the three circles representing the three sets. Now when you look at all three of them, then what do you notice? One 
is common to all three of them right so so whatever is common to all three will be right there one right now what is common to now let's see b and c between b and c we have only one common right so others are not common between a and b however we have one three and five three elements common between a and b right so i'm writing this as a this has set b this has set c so between a and b we have one three and five common one we have already written so we will now write three and five between a and c what is common to us one and two so between a and c one we have already written so we'll include two here so we go from inside out when we are filling numbers in a venn diagram now you can take the sets individually starting with c 0 1 and 2 1 and 2 is already written 0 i'll take outside so that completes the set c now with b 1 3 5 7 1 3 5 is mentioned 7 i've taken outside now with set a 1 2 3 4 is missing 5 is there and then 6 is missing right so count we have six elements 1 2 3 4 5 all six are there now the question is what is the cardinality of a union b union c just count all these elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 1 8 so the answer is c for us correct it is not necessary to draw the venn diagrams i have drawn them to make it simpler to understand correct so basically when you're looking for union of all the sets then don't count any number twice that's the whole idea right so if you look at it when we're talking about these unions you could do like this one we already counted three we already counted five we already counted not seven as far as c is concerned zero we never count but one and two we had counted so now we have how many elements? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, eight. So this is a faster way of doing it. So if you are given the elements, just check them out and straight away get your answer. I hope that helps you for multiple choice questions. Thanks for watching and all the best.